Hey. So, um, also, several folks from our team are actually at the, uh, in the Microsoft Pavilion. We're sharing a booth with the HPC team, so we're there. If you want to come talk to us, I'll be there all night. Stephen Tobe will be there all night as well, who does a lot of work on the managed side. So, yeah. Uh huh. So, so the question was, are we going to provide debugging and profiling support in OpenMP? So the, the debugger, the task view, doesn't work with OpenMP right now. The multi-stack view has a thread view, which will actually show you the threads that are going on. But it's not, at this time, currently hooked up to OpenMP. Um, there is opportunity, and long term, we, we would like to actually ensure that the OpenMP implementation actually talks to the runtime so that your OpenMP parallel sections will actually compose with your other parallel sections in the application. I get a couple of questions. Um, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, the first is, uh, are you guys going to submit any of this to standards, or is this going to be a Microsoft Windows on thing only? So we, we care a lot about standards. Um, that's why you'll see, actually, that the PPL interfaces are STL styled. Right? We care a lot about compatibility. We hope that the community and the industry actually gets together and moves the standards forward. Right? We, so always, we always talk to the standards committees about things, but we don't, we don't necessarily have a proposal right now for that. But, it, but we're very interested in standardizing work. OK. Can, I have a couple other questions. Can I ask? Uh, the, uh, the second question is, uh, on a, on a system that has hyper-threading, how does all this affect? So the runtime is aware of the hyper-threading. Um, at this time, we're not necessarily doing anything special for hyper-threading in the CTP. Mm -hmm. um, but the load balancing characteristics will actually tend to help with hyper-threading, right? So if I have, say, four threads that are showing up and half of them are hyper-threaded, those tasks will just appear like tasks that are potentially running slower. Um, and the other threads will actually steal word from them. So, okay. so the locality information is, is still preserved. Um, okay. But we're not necessarily doing anything special about it right now. Now, on a single core machine, is there going to be any overhead of all of this? Right, so the, there's always overheads. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And how, how bad is the overhead? What we're trying to do is spend as much time at the platform level on reducing those overheads. Because reducing the overheads is hard. And we would like to do it once, right, so that you guys don't have to spend your time doing that work. We'll do it. Um, the overhead is continually getting lower. So, okay. Are you going to release, are you going to release any source to the uh, PPL itself? So the saw in your stack trace. Yeah, yeah. So the, a lot in there. <laughs> so the PPL is actually implemented as a template header file right now. So crack open that CTP pound include ppl.h, in addition to be able, being able to actually use the constructs that are in the namespace con concurrency, you can actually see how we did it, because the PPL and the agents libraries are built on top of the, run of the concurrency runtime. OK. So, so the concurrency runtime is kind of a symbols only thing, then? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The concurrency runtime is a symbols only thing, then? You're not going to have any source to that? Yeah, right now, there's the, the symbols only for the concurrency runtime. It's, it's actually part of the, the CRTs and the CTP. So it's, the majority of the code is actually an MSV CRT for the binary files. OK. And uh, on your agents example, uh, is that, are they actually built on top of the tasks? Or is the agents pretty much map, you know, they orthogonal to tasks? The, they're built on top of tasks. So the runtime itself has a task scheduler which is the abstraction for actually scheduling tasks. We have a couple of different abstractions at the runtime layer. And remember, the runtime is extensible, so if you want to, you can actually build here. One is a task group concept that maps very well to the, to the PPL task group. Another is a scheduler group. I believe it's, I believe it's actually called cast group in the, in the, in the CTP. Um, but it will schedule what we call lightweight tasks or unrealized chores. Um, and those will actually be run more in order than, than some of the other ones, which are clearly load balancing for the majority of the parallel fours and, and things like that. 
So okay. one last final question. Sure. Um, our current code base takes advantage of OpenMP in a number of areas. As we move to this, say, in 2010, and we have some parts of the code start to use tasks, um, your concurrency runtime talked about being able to um, manage resources uh, more effectively, arbi you know, arbitrating between them. Um, is the OpenMP support in 2010 going to be, you know, arbitrating between OpenMP stuff and task stuff to not over schedule the, you know, the processors? And stuff? Yeah, that's not something that's currently, that, that, that we can currently announce okay. or, or talk about in detail at this time. The CTP clearly does not do that, right? So if you use OpenMP and you use the PPL at the same time, you'll see some oversubscription going on. All right, um, go, come up to the mics so I don't have to try and choose. Someone in front until someone shows up at the mic. My question was just, do you have, are, are all these sample applications on, on the drive? The, there are not sample applications on the drive. There is a walkthrough which shows how to use Parallel 4 um, and the agents library. There's also on our concurrency center, so msdn.microsoft.com, WAC concurrency. There's pointers to the forums and to the, to the blog where there will be additional samples. And you can actually interact with us through that. So. If I understood correctly, um, these, the message structures that you're using are leveraging the concurrent safety of the stack. Mm -hmm. Are there any techniques you're using to mini minimize uh, impact of just beating on the heap with some of your, uh, some of these functions and objects that you invariably have to create? Yeah, one of the things we're actually exploring is, is um, some heap work to make sure that as you're using the heap, it just scales, right? Um, and that would be at the runtime layer. It's not something that we would do at all, I think. There's nothing in the CTP and it's not something we would do um, in 2010 that would be, be globally applicable, but we're, we're investigating that at the runtime. Is, is it correct that it's single heap right now? Um, no, it's more, it's more advanced than that. This, this demo was actually using some of that on, on some of the things. I wasn't using it for the messages, but I was using it in the, uh, um, in the, in the transforms. The Gaussian filters actually make a copy of the image, um, right, and process work in that, in that copy and then apply it back. Yeah. Great. I'm a, I'm a managed code weenie. Uh huh. So I just want to know the the parallels, I guess, between this and the uh, the par uh, the managed world. What um, you could, the libraries that you have in managed versus this? Sure. So the libraries in managed, um, and folks can step in if I miss something because they're here, I, I believe. So we have the task parallel library in the parallel extensions. This is also in the CTP. It's in the system, system dot, uh, threading DLL. Um, so they have a parallel for, a parallel for each, and task constructs. In general, many of those are actually aligned with our PPL interfaces. The core task scheduling and creation are slightly different, um, but this actually is more to do with the memory model and uh, the lack of a garbage collector in C++, right? Because you want to be able to manage the lifetimes of those tasks, right? So I can just use a task group, group dot run implicitly, or I can de declare one explicitly, or I can create a new one, or I can build it with my own allocator, right? We have that flexibility and power on the native side that isn't necessarily there, and it led to a slightly different design. Um, the native side doesn't, the managed side doesn't currently have a messaging framework. Microsoft has something called um, the concurrency and coordination runtime. Um, which is similar, and we'll continue looking at that in, in the longer term. So, okay? Yeah? If we're using TVB now, is there any advantage or disadvantage to using this new uh, mechanism? Well, the advantage to using TVB now is that it's released, right? right. <laughs> and and you, have a, you have a CTP. Uh, longer term, what you'll see is some alignment between TVB and PPL on the interfaces particularly on the con containers, right? So